All right, y'all. So welcome back for some more bizarre, creepy, and unexplained TikToks that I have you questioning reality. Before we get to it, remember, this is for entertainment purposes only. Let's check it out. Is it just me or does it feel like the walls was closing in the further? And I'm not a claustrophobic type person, bro, but it seemed like those walls were getting narrower and narrower and more narrow. Is more narrow or is narrow? I, don't, I feel like I created a word right there. But anyway, it just felt like it was closing in, fam. Oh, man. Could you imagine somebody who who is claustrophobic going in there? It honestly blows my mind how nobody is talking about this. Russia made a terrifying underwater discovery that changes everything. The discovery and thinking about the probability of it being an actual crashed UFO or not until the Ocean X team gave the information that confirmed the crashed UFO. Stefan Hogeborn, a professional diver with Ocean X, confirmed it when he said that the crashed UFO still works. He said anything electric out there, including satellite phones as well, stopped working when we were above the object. Bro, I watched the video about this and they're literally claiming that they discovered a crash UFO underwater. UFO, also known as the Baltic Sea Anomaly, is its striking resemblance to the Star Wars Millennium Falcon. Bro, what do you guys think about this? And whether this is real or not, you have to admit that the ocean holds plenty of mysteries that are yet to be discovered. But hey, make sure to share this video. That's what I'm saying. Like, they could have discovered that thing, pulled it out, took it, and we'd have never even know they did it. I feel kind of upset about that because I, I kind of... Like, the stuff that we think is some of the coolest stuff they keep from us, man. I feel like a little kid. I'm upset. You took that. You took that away from us. No, I want I want to know. I want to know. I want to know if they, they found that. They probably did, and they probably have something pretty dope. But here's another reason why we think there's aliens in the ocean, fam. This is why. Over 10 years after it landed on Mars, the Curiosity rover is still making amazing new discoveries. Its latest is a set of rocks in the foothills of a Martian mountain. These rocks look rippled, like the sand on a lake bottom. That makes sense. They formed when waves stirred up sediment on the bottom of an ancient Martian lake, which over time left this distinctive texture in the rock. This is the best evidence for water on Mars that Curiosity has ever seen, and it proves that this old rover still got it. Over 10... Some people believe there's people there too, not just water. Now it's all a facade, man. It's not just water. Some people feel like it's, it's people there. I don't know if we got to penetrate the surface or what, you know what I mean? But I'd be careful with that too, because Mars just looks like to me, to me, like it suffers from a lot of volcanic activity and different things that have happened in the past. I don't, I don't know. It's just something about it. The orangey look, the, the everything that it feels, the dryness of it, the everything, it just feels like it was overtaken by a, a lot of volcanic activity to me. But, you know what I mean? If we dig deep enough, we could come to water and people, possibly. So if anyone's ever wanted to know what is down one of these, let's take a look. Get a little bit closer? Holy crap, man. It's honestly quite terrifying. Terrifying. There's a lat. Why is there a ladder? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can climb back up. Gotcha. That's terrifying. So if anyone's ever wanted to know what is down one of these, let's take. What well, is crazy? You see how the ladder is cut off in the inside, but you have a ladder on the outside of it going into the water. So the ladder to get out. 
I don't, I don't know. That that <laughs> that makes no sense to me. And what are they on, by the way? How are they even getting up, getting up that close to that thing? If that was a boat, I wouldn't I wouldn't trust that. You know what I mean? But they got extremely close to that. That's insane. Why why would that be? Somebody tell me what like why is that in the middle of the water? There's gotta be some kind of reason for that. I don't know. And maybe they were walking on water or something. I don't know. I don't like that. That was crazy. Creepy. You won't believe this. Hey there. You won't believe this crazy discovery about 9-11. Everybody knows that on September 11th, 2001, the Twin Towers in New York City were struck by two airplanes and both towers collapsed to the ground. Thousands of people were killed and the damage was devastating. However, in 2010, workers excavating the crash site discovered something very strange. They discovered the remains of a 30-foot-long wooden boat that was buried underneath the 9-11 rubble. The question soon became, how did a shipwreck end up 22 feet beneath the World Trade Center? Wooden Scientists boat? began to research and analyze the wood that was found from the ship. Noah's Ark. And in 2014, they were able to conclude that the ship was built around the 1770s around the same time as the Declaration of Independence. And it's believed that the ship was sailing through Lower Manhattan where it sunk. And as New York City began to grow, the city of Manhattan expanded right over the top of the ship. You won't believe this crazy dis- What do you think that- What do you think that was? And what was New Manhattan and all of that built on? What is, what is that stuff like? Ah. Uh -huh. See, that's why we got to figure out our history, man. And no, I don't live in New York, so maybe a New Yorker would be able to tell us like a little bit of the backstory on that. And whatever happened to the remnants of that boat and different things like that, where is that at now? These are three recent archaeological finds from cultures around the world. Number one, these are a pair of Levi jeans from the 1880s that were found in an abandoned New Mexico mine. These white spots are wax from where the original owner was laboring under candlelight. They recently sold at an auction for 87 grand. Number two, in the lost Roman city of Pompeii, archaeologists recently unearthed a 2,000-year-old snack bar. Also known as Thermopolia, these street stalls were common in Rome. In this one, researchers were able to find traces of pork, beef, and wine in its terracotta pots. Number three, this is a 15 hundred year old arrow found this year in Norway. Predating the Vikings, researchers found the arrow nestled between rocks. They theorized it was the missed shot of an ancient hunter who fired it while hunting reindeer. These are three recent archaeological- Them jeans look like somebody could still try them on, don't they? <laughs> like jeans though? Who finds like a pair of old Wranglers out in the middle of, uh, you know what I mean? Some archaeological fun. I don't know, that one first had me a little bit skeptical though of the jeans. You know what I mean? I'd have been out there were like, nah, fam, we gotta try these on. Somebody, we gotta try these on. Come on, let's see if they fit. Who got a mirror? <laughs> see, this is why I can't go on no, on no archaeological discovery. I'd do something like that and they, I'd be kicked off. I'd be kicked out of there. They'd have sent me back or, you know what I mean? I'd have been left stranded. They'd have been mad at me or something like that. But I'd have saw those jeans and be like, no way. No way. What are those? Jordash? What are those? Levi's? Those skinny jeans? <laughs> Let me find out they was wearing skinny jeans too back in the day, man. Oh my gosh, they'd kick me out. She found this after living in the house for over three years. A woman named Julia was cleaning out her closet one day when she noticed her closet floor was slightly lifted off of one side as if there's something laying there. But as she lifts the uneven floor up, she makes a horrifying discovery. She Dang, reveals stairs, no which lead to a way. secret dark room. After three years of living in that house, she had no idea this was even three here. Years? Afraid to go explore the room by herself, she leaves it be for another day. The following three nights, Julia would experience weird dreams and see things she can't explain. After contacting a medium, but having her scared away by whatever's down there, she decides to go in with a friend. Well, here's the crawl space. You all asked for it. Yo. They find an old storage space and a jar full of strange trinkets that they believe may have been used for some sort of witchcraft. Could it be that Julia discovered a room with a dark past? Or is it just something else? She found this after living in three years and I'm just finding that out? That would have freaked me beyond belief, fam. I, yeah. Yeah, no thank you. Three years, no. Now, 
granted, she got down there and it kind of resembles like a, a, a old bunker or something like that. Maybe they had stuff like that. She may find like if she keeps digging and plundering down there or looking at the walls or um, which look like they were concrete. So it's probably nothing that but she keep looking down there. She may find like old food magazines, newspaper article clipping stuff like that, canned goods. Cause that's what it gave me vibes of like an old uh bunker or chamber or something like that man you know what i mean but she bold though <laughs> she bold as soon as i saw them stairs nope uh -uh. Mm -mm. i'll get a professional go down there then they can clear it and tell me it's good to go in there uh, but still i'm still trying to call my realtor bro it's time for us to go three years is long enough in this house these are the craziest things ever discovered underground. In July 2005, when the sand from the Sahara Desert began to fly with the wind, they found the bones of a 40 million year old whale. It was always theorized that the Sahara Desert used to be a sea, and this pretty much confirmed it. But the most shocking thing was that some of these whales even had the bones of feet. And this shows how land-based animals actually evolved to live in the ocean. In 2018, a farmer named James was digging to install a drainage pipe in his yard. That's when he found the skull of a woolly mammoth, which was 14,000 years old. Archaeologists said that humans hunted it and later buried it right in this field. Finally, in 2015 in Argentina, Jose Antonio wanted to take a breath of fresh air by this lake. That's when he found a large round object in the water. This was the shell of an armadillo that was 10,000 years old. According to the shell, armadillos at the time would grow to around 11 feet. And after this discovery, many other giant armadillo shells began mysteriously appearing around Argentina. These are the craziest things ever discovered on- Yeah, whales having feet. I've I've heard of them, uh, not them, speaking in whales in particular, but I'm just saying how animals have adapted and evolved. But that would be the craziest one to me to once think about whales walking like alligators on land and then eventually going into the water. Possibility, but could you see? I can't even, sometimes you can imagine it in your mind when somebody say something to you, but I can't even formulate a picture in my mind what that would look like a huge whale just walking around what would he what kind of sound would he even make that's crazy the rest of this stuff i'm like okay cool cool but the whale or, or some of this stuff with feet yeah why are they hiding ufo zoom in screenshot this and zoom in closely look at the bottom it moved can't see the truck is moving so of course it's moving but i don't put it past stuff like that though bro they they go to great lengths to disguise it at the same time hide it in plain sight so you think but you'd be like nah they wouldn't do that they wouldn't transport that like that they'd do it in a top secret way no they would they would because they'd expect us to not think it was what it is so but um i don't know for all i'm concerned that could be that could be anything. That could be a part. You know what I mean? You ever watch like when when the fairs come into town and they have all those trucks as they bring in all the rides and stuff like that? It looked like that too. It could be that. I don't know. Eh, it could be anything. Five. Stone coins in Okinawa, Japan. Archaeologists were perplexed by the unexpected unearthing of ancient Roman coins in the ruins of Katsurin Castle in Japan. Initially dismissed as a possible hoax, the four copper coins were eventually authenticated and found to feature faded designs, including the likeness of Emperor Constantine I. Alongside these Roman artifacts, six additional coins believed to originate from the Ottoman Empire in the late 17th century were also discovered. While the castle's connections to China and other Asian nations were well known, the presence of these Roman coins sheds new light on its historical trading relations with Europe. However, the precise circumstances of their arrival in Japan remain uncertain. The finding highlights the region's extensive trade networks with various parts of Asia and might soon change the country's history. Number 4. Danish Spirals In 2015, archaeologists unearthed Danish spirals in a field in Denmark. No, I'm not referring to pastry, but real gold that was made during the Bronze Age. The discovery of coils made from thin filaments in the Busland area has puzzled archaeologists about their purpose. Dating back to the period between 900 BC and 700 BC, 
These coils, approximately an inch long, were unearthed in an area known for its abundance of Bronze Age gold artifacts. Experts believe they may have been part of a priest king's attire, such as a fringe on a headpiece, parasol, or woven into cloth. The presence of a fur-lined box nearby indicates that these coils could be cult objects used when the ancestors of the Danes worshipped the sun. While their precise function remains uncertain, these enigmatic coils provide valuable insights into the ancient religious practices of the region. Number 3. Mm, the London Hammer for. The London Hammer is undoubtedly one of the most intriguing artifacts ever discovered. It alludes to the existence of aliens, time travelers, and a malicious desire to create a hoax that would shake the archaeological community. Unearthed in London, Texas, in 1936, this mysterious object consists of a well-preserved hammer embedded in rock that dates back millions of years. What makes it so fascinating is the apparent age discrepancy between the hammer and the rock formation, leading to speculation about its origin and challenging conventional understandings of human history. You see, the hammer was inside a rock that supposedly dates back millions of years ago, when people didn't even have sophisticated man-made tools. But that's not all. The composition of the hammer itself is another enigma. The metal portion, despite its age, shows minimal signs of corrosion or decay. It's as if time had somehow spared this ancient tool from the ravages of rust, and the wooden handle, though partially fossilized, remains remarkably intact. Number 2. The Crystal Skull of Belize Deep within the ancient Mayan ruins of Belize, an extraordinary artifact was unearthed. An impeccably carved crystal skull shrouded in mystery. Crafted from a single block of quartz crystal, this incredible piece has captivated archaeologists for decades. The crystal skull's flawless symmetry, intricate details, and smooth surfaces are a testament to the skill and ingenuity of the ancient Mayan civilization. Would y'all look at me weird if I say I want one of those crystal skulls? That's like the second time I've seen those, and every time I see it, I say the same thing to myself. I say, oh, yeah, well, that is super dope. Like, that is super dope, but I'm a little bit skeptical because of what it could mean or represent, or you know what I mean? It, it could have some kind of weird paranormal vibes attached to it or something like that, but other than that, I want one for some reason. My bad. The craftsmanship is mind-blowing, with intricate details and smooth surfaces that'll make you question how ancient civilizations pulled off such a jaw-dropping feat. Now, I know what you're thinking. Did aliens lend a hand? While the notion of extraterrestrial involvement See? has tantalized imaginations, scientific analysis suggests that this masterpiece is a product of the remarkable craftsmanship and dedication of ancient civilizations. Extensive analysis and examination of crystal skulls, including the one found in Belize, have revealed no signs of extraterrestrial involvement. Instead, experts attribute their creations to the remarkable craftsmanship and dedication of ancient civilizations. But of course, Others believe that aliens had a hand in creating the magnificent skull. That, or it's a hoax created by someone to give archaeologists something to ponder. And now it's time for today's topic. This strange photograph shows scientists terrifying new discovery of UFO evidence that changes everything. This photograph circulated around the internet, sparking rumors. This photo reveals what appeared to be the otherworldly remains of an extraterrestrial being. Conspiracy theorists have long contended that intelligent beings from distant galaxies have visited our planet, leaving elusive traces to decipher. Could this photograph be the long-awaited proof that they had been seeking? Could it be that this photo shows the long-awaited, undeniable proof that the aliens indeed visited our planet a long time ago? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Number 1. Tongue of Stone a gruesome and seemingly unique mutilation has emerged from a Roman Briton burial in Northamptonshire, shedding light on the brutality of ancient times. The discovery of a man with his tongue amputated and replaced with a stone serves as a chilling reminder of the harshness of life during that era. Whether the amputation was self-inflicted due to mental health issues or a form of punishment, it reflects the extreme measures and suffering individuals might have endured. Additionally, the burial practice of interring the man face down out of fear that his corpse would rise to menace the living showcases the superstitious beliefs and gruesome measures taken to protect the community. These findings show the harsh realities and cruelty of ancient life, reminding us of the brutal nature of existence in those times. As more excavations take place, who knows what other terrifying secrets lie waiting to be unearthed. So did any of these dis See, that's the thing that makes me hesitant about going back in time in a time machine. 
Like you think these days in time, but we, we might haven't seen anything yet. Remember the saying, hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil? The dude with his tongue, which one do you think he violated? Exactly. Speak no evil. He must have did that, fam. They didn't play back then. <laughs> we we are a little bit, I bet they look at us as being as bad as y'all think we are. Probably to them, we're probably mild. Mild. Probably nothing compared to them. They didn't have no trials. Well, they had trials, but the the results after the verdict was read and what that happened next probably wasn't on the way to no jail. It probably happened right then and there. You know what I mean? They probably handled their business right then and oh, guilty. Oh, done over with on to the next one. And they probably had no qualms about it. Those times were probably crazy as I don't know what. New animals discovered in 2023, a new species. Just four species scientists discovered. Scientists have officially. Ex I just finished watching the conference that just ended. And let me tell you the news about Homo naledi, one of the most mysterious human-like species ever discovered, was way more impressive than I expected. I literally had tears while watching this. I'll eventually upload clips, but right now I just kind of want to lay out the new announcements and what was found. So Lee Berger starts off by talking about how he lost over 50 pounds so he could finally get down deep into this chamber for the first time. And while he was down there, he went and sat near where they recovered one of the skeletons, like right next to it. And he was just looking up at the roof of that chamber. And this is what he saw. All of that dark material, that is soot. So these strange hominins with really primitive brains, like small but also complex brains, and these strange, more archaic ape-like features, they were getting to those chambers because they controlled fire. And this is just the little tip of it. Let's get deeper. Because at the same time that Lee was down there looking up at the ceiling, some other members of the team were in the next chamber over and they found this right here. This is a small little hearth, a place that a fire was made. And sticking out of that hearth is an animal bone. It's an antelope. So not only did they find that this species controlled fire, but they found direct evidence that they were controlling it and cooking or at least burning animals down there. And then look at this. This is down there in those chambers as well in those interconnecting tunnels. This is ash and on top of the ash are stacked rocks and animal species, Nala D, stacked those rocks almost like we stack trail markers. And in that ash underneath them, again, there are bones sticking out. Here is another one of those tunnels and it is just full of waste, like animal scraps. This is huge because all of the prior excavations, all the bones recovered from this system were Nala D, at least down in these really deep ranges. We got to get in these caves some more, man. He just, I, I don't know what it is about him and what he was saying to me that had me ready to go inside of a cave or deep inside of a cave somewhere, man. Just just for the sheer find and discoveries of things that we could find back up in there, man. He literally convinced me. I don't know. I, I don't know why. And I've seen tons of cave videos, man. But I need to look into some more of what this dude is talking about, man. Shh animal bones and different things that he've, they've discovered and what they got back in there and did and different things like that, man. I, I, this is uncanny. I've never been enthused in that way, but I don't know. Y'all get at me in the comment section, man. What, what caves do you think? Are you think there's a lot of caves here on the U.S. continent? Or you think we need to go to Africa? Or you think we need to go somewhere else? to find like a lot of answers to like maybe human origin and, and a lot of ancient history and stuff like that, man. We've been saying civilization wise, those caves have a lot of information in them. We just, it's just too dangerous, man. Too, too dangerous to get back up in there. You heard dude said he shedded pounds like he was a boxer. He shedded pounds to get up in the air and do that. That's, that's dedication to be honest with you salute to him by the way but uh y'all get at me in the comment section man and let me know what you thought of this video super super dope and interesting till the next one i'm gone man
Peace.